Hi friends, good afternoon. I spent my entire morning laying in bed. For those of you who don't know or probably have seen, I got sick, I don't know what it is, but for the first couple days, I would just laid in bed and did absolutely nothing. But today was the day where I finally was like, we gotta do something because I feel better now. You know that feeling you get when you're sick? I still have a little bit of that. But today was the day I was like, I gotta get up early-ish. I can mope in bed a little bit, which I did. And then I finally got up and I was like, let's be productive. So I went to take a shower. I did a different part today. That's, uh, it's usually on this side, but today I wanted to try this side. I'll probably just add to the headache because whenever I change, the direction of my hair, I get a little bit of a headache. Did some laundry because clean environment means feeling cleaner inside and getting better. But I'm still just gonna take it slow. It's still the first week of May when I'm filming this at least. I don't know what I'll be posting this. I just got AT's tickets, so I got that. And then the next day I got sick and here I am now. So you win some, you lose some. A lot of people are getting sick right now. It's just because of the weather change. Where I live, it's been kind of weird where it's like 20 degrees for two days and then the next two days are freezing cold and then it's warm again and then it's cold again. So I think that's why I'm getting sick just because of the season changing. If you're wondering what I do when I'm sick, besides lay in bed and just go on my phone, my phone has never ran out of batteries throughout the day. Yeah, it has not been lasting because I've just been on it 24 seven. I think the last time I was sick was when I had, you know, the big C. I actually got so bored that I booted up this computer, which is like, pretty old because I have my new laptop that I use now. If you know me, you know I love dinosaurs. So I've just been re-watching the entire Jurassic Park, Jurassic World series. I'm on the third Jurassic Park movie, which is my personal favorite because the Spino is in it. It's also occurred to me that even though I own like a bunch of these albums, I never actually ever go through them. So I kind of want to look through some of them today, put some use to them because I kind of just buy them. They kind of just live on my shelf. I got it as a gift and it's gigantic. I don't know if this is a tattoo. I think this is a tattoo. If I ever went to their concert, I'd literally slap it right there on me. One thing I've kind of always wanted to do is kind of compile all of like my photos and like my friend's photos and stuff like that we take throughout the year, compile them into a book like this. And so that's kind of nice because I feel like that would be cool. And I've tried to do it before, but I just never really committed to it. But could you imagine like all my photos on my Instagram and stuff just like compiled into a magazine just as like a time capsule? Because obviously it's online, but it's cool to have like a physical copy. Maybe I'll start when my hair is black again, which is soon. And of course, we got to have ATs because guess who's seeing them in August? Me. Hopefully everything works out and, you know, I actually do get to see them. But, oh, I completely forgot about this. They have like that game that you can play. I'm gonna do that later. Ooh, a sticker sheet. Maybe I should put this on my suitcase. I already know I'm gonna spend so much money this summer. It's unreal. Also, since my hair is kind of wonky right now, I was planning on doing this to it. Like before I go back to black, but I think I'm a little lazy. I know I have a haircut coming up. Do I know what haircut I'm gonna get? Mm -mm. I have no clue what to do with my hair. Because I like it short, but then when it's short, it kind of looks weird on me. But then when it's long, it also looks weird on me. And I don't know how to really, I don't really like maintaining my long hair. So uh, these are like the personal dilemmas and conversations I have with myself whenever I have too much time on my hand. Yeah, I used to be so... I used to be so good at this game. What the heck happened to me? I'm gonna play this for like the next couple of hours, so. Pretty much whenever I'm bored is I like to anticipate the future. And in the future, I have a couple trips coming up. So I've kind of just been researching like what to do on the trip, places to go, things to do, things to eat. 
um i don't know why i just like to really get excited and i also plan the videos i'm gonna film because these trips are only like a week long each but i need to like milk it out three to like five weeks of footage and content i already have so many things planned starting already in june so that's exciting oh do you hear the really loud bus outside like a fashion degree or whatever the Met Gala just happened I want to go over some looks by the time this is up you have probably already seen my TikTok where I was talking about some of the look and I'm gonna give my opinion even though I'm here in bed not at the Met Gala all right so starting off really strong with it. Miss Tyla is that how you say her name Tyla Tyla it's Tyla right she killed it hello look at her She's wearing like a dress made out of sand. The attention to detail. The dress was incredibly stiff, so seeing her be carried around, as she should be. Of course, we have my girl Ariana. She killed it. I know the, she said that the chest piece, like the, the top piece is made out of um, her birthstone. I forgot what it was called, but like she was knocking on it all night. And I just like how flowy it is. For her performance was also very nice. I'm surprised because her performance had like a really big poofy white dress and then she changed into like the the tighter fitting one. I'm surprised she didn't wear that on the carpet because that would have been a cool transition. But then she would have to wear the white one to perform and it does not look that comfortable to perform in. So I guess for the better we have zendaya herself who honestly has never missed ever when it comes to the met gala she had this look as well it's not as nice as the first one i really like the headpiece but the first one definitely miss cardi b showed up and showed out I honestly she always comes with like the brightest the boldest the most extravagant outfits ever this one was definitely on the simpler side for her like it's just all black hear me out i actually really like kim k's outfit her waist i was very confused because how like her waist is smaller than my head how is that possible the cardigan didn't throw me off that much until people started printing it out because it doesn't really make any sense to me and it's pilling and everything. Sabrina has had such a good run recently and I'm so glad for her. It reminds me a little bit of a loofah, but again, she kills it every single time. I know there's a lot more, but my throat is starting to really dry up and I'm getting tired. I feel like I should rest. Once again, thank you. But yeah, okay. Bye for now. Ooh.